I'm James Duncan, and um, today I'll be telling you a bit about how NERSC helped to accelerate the machine of the energy exascale system model uh, climate simulations. This is a global climate model. Um, and I believe that climate science requires broad collaboration. So, for instance, myself, I'm a PhD student uh, doing research in statistics and machine learning. Professor Ben UC Berkeley. Um, and last summer, I worked with the Allen Institute for AI, which is a nonprofit whose mission is to do research in AI for good, based in Seattle. Um, and I was working on a project in collaboration with the climate modeling team at AI2 and climate scientists at Lawrence Livermore National Lab uh, and using data from E3SM. Um, so the folks that we work with at Livermore are working on developing this global climate model. Um, and at AI2, they're also collaborating with machine learning experts at NVIDIA um, whose algorithmic advancements were very important for our project here. And of course, the compute uh, at NERSC was invaluable. The goal of the project was to do data-driven emulation of the E3SM V2 atmosphere model. So we take output from a simulation with a particular set of uh, climate forcings. Um, for example, some set annual cycle sea surface temperature, um, and then we try to use deep learning to learn to generate um, samples from the climate models distribution. Um, and in particular, the machine learning computer is called the spherical Fourier operator architecture. This is a successor to the same architecture uh, that a successful climate, uh, or sorry, weather model may know of forecast net. Uh, we trained on 30 years of E3SM V2 simulation date, data resolution. And the main innovation of the SFMO um, is that within each layer of the network, uh, they employ a spherical harmonic transform. <coughs> um, and so better, in, in, in that way, better into account the underlying geometry of the Earth. Um, so our training time was 36 hours on a single other GPU node, so using four GPUs in parallel. Uh, and the pipeline that I was working with uh, was already using Docker, so one very important tool for me that is uh, relatively new here at NERSC is Climate HPC. Um, I actually started with Shifter and switched over to Podman HPC and found uh, that transition very seamless. Um, at inference time, we're able to do one uh, simulated day every second on a single Perlmutter GPU. And this translates to about 300 times energy savings when we compare that to the original simulation that produced our training data. Uh, the results is 10 years of stable simulation output in the machine learning emulator at a six hour lead temporal resolution. Um, this is on a held out inference uh, or validation set that was not used during training. So here's an example uh, of what the outputs look like. So on the right, we have the target data um, advancing in six hour lead time steps. And on the left, the corresponding generated field here I'm showing in heat flux, which is one of 44 uh, of the model outputs. Um, on the left side here at the bottom, I show the global arm of the model, which is the SFNO in green, and the black line is a reference uh, period taken from the training data, which we consider to be like a best case uh, comparison to the validation period. And you can see that our Global mean in the x-axis I have time step, so up to 14,000 time steps or about 10 years. And you can see that throughout that period, we're able to capture the annual cycle and do a good job um, of emulating the climate model. Uh, 
this is borne out as well. It's like the error or MSC here on the right of um, the ML emulator versus the reference. So yeah, that's it. Thank you very much, and thanks to my collaborators uh, to reach out to me, jpduncan at berkeley.edu, if you'd like to learn more about this project.